He may be a rookie, but he is looking like a vet. The three finalists for top rookie are Ben Simmons, Donovan Mitchell, and Jason Tatum. Stephen A. Smith. Who do you have as a rookie of the year? Uh, please, we all know where I'm going with this. I'm going with my man Donovan Mitchell. Mm -hmm. I said that months ago, and I Friend stand by it. And let me tell you something. I got a lot of love for Ben Simmons, and I think Ben Simmons is a jump shot away from being a superstar in this league. LeBron James part two. But he doesn't deserve this award over uh, Donovan Mitchell. I'm not trying to dismiss what he had alongside him in Utah. But the bottom line is, you lose Gordon Haywood. Donovan Mitchell comes there. He's a rookie, Molly. He's a rookie, Max. And they hand him the ball as the number one option in the Western Conference. He guides you to a top five seed in a player. It's really tied for four. Same exact record as OKC before they beat OKC in the first round, by the way. But we ain't going postseason. We stay in regular season. He was in the West. He wasn't in the East. There was no Joel Embiid no to go stars. along with him, okay? Not to mention the Sarics of the world, the Elisovas of the world, and others. You look at what Philly has collectively as a talent compared to what Utah had. They were in an inferior conference and going up against inferior competition. They weren't in the West. He had no help, really, offensively. And look what that brother did. He is on the rise. He is a superstar in the making. He had the response responsibility from day one he accepted it he flat out balled there is no question in my mind that Donovan Mitchell and I appreciate him validating it in the postseason not that the postseason is supposed to have anything to do with the regular season but I appreciate the validation that he provided to me in the postseason but in the end it is a regular <laughs> season award and he did it you slickly just avoided that little trap that I laid for you because, let's face it, the reason this is even really a discussion is the playoffs. Fair to say, Max, you just said you should count the playoffs. For MVP, yes. Rookie of the year doesn't mean you're so good you need to bring your team to the playoffs. MVP is something different. If you're the MVP, your team made the playoffs, and it, where over 50% of the teams make the playoffs, you got to wait to see what you do. Rookie of the year is different, but even if you say it's the same, well, now you can't have it both ways. Either it's a regular season award or it's not. Right. If it is a regular season award, Let's start with your team argument. In fact, Joel Embiid is the best player on either team, not named Ben Simmons or Donovan Mitchell, except that Rudy Gobert is really good. Defensively. Rudy Gobert, Rudy Gobert sure, but that's part of I'm just talking about as a player. I won't even say offensively, defensively, just as a player. When Carmelo Anthony was at his best, he was a really good player. He was a terrible defensive player. He was just a really good player because of his offense. Gobert is a really good player because of his defense. And the Utah Jazz actually, top to bottom, I take their roster. You know, you take Ben Simmons out of it, I'll take their roster over Philadelphia. Utah's a really good team, a well-constructed team. Even the Crowder trade work, and Ingles is good, and they just have a well-constructed team. So I don't think the team argument, oh, what else does Donovan Mitchell have? He was the primary scoring option, that's true, and Donovan Mitchell is a beast. Mm -hmm. Not to take nothing away. Guys, Ben Simmons, I know we now feel he was exposed because of the shot and the playoffs, they have to play power forward and all this. Ben Simmons is a transcendent talent. And, and just look at even the numbers from the, from the regular season, we put him up there. I'm gonna round, I'll round up for Donovan Mitchell. He had 3.7 assists, 3.7. Ben Simmons was basically 16, eight and eight on 54% from the floor. Donovan Mitchell was 24 and four on 40% from the 44% from the floor. Statistically, Ben Simmons is better. And if you look at the influence, he, he's clear, statistically he's better. Twice as many rebounds, twice as many assists, 10% more, uh, a better field goal percentage, and four points less scoring average. Max, first of all, you have Philadelphia with their size on the perimeter that forces teams to shoot, and sometimes their defense has been better than Utah, which leads to more missed shots, which leads to more rebounds. That's number one. Who's a better defense? We're talking about the game. Excuse me. I think Philadelphia, to some degree, can be at times. And all I'm saying is, number two, you also got to think about the fact that, again, you're a guy, you've got a guy in Donovan Mitchell who obviously is significantly shorter, but look at how he balls and look at what he brings to the table. Ben Simmons is no threat outside of five to ten right. feet from the basket. If he was, he'd be an MVP candidate Absolutely. Already. Right. Absolutely. Right, but we're talking about Absolutely. rookie of the year. And by the way, you bring up the height thing, you say, hey, like LeBron's 6'8", 260. You know, he's got to do that. Ben Simmons, six foot ten, he's got an advantage. Yes, in basketball, if you're tall, that is an advantage. You don't judge it on, it's not pound for 
per pound. We're not talking about Lomachenko or Terrence Crawford here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because as good as they are, they can't beat Anthony right. Joshua in a fight, That's right? Like, okay, so so in in basketball, if you're if you're six foot ten, it's an advantage over a guy who's six foot three. That's the way it goes. Ben Simmons has that advantage, but Stephen A. Ben Simmons' effect on wins and losses, he was the best show in sports for a couple of months. As incredible as Donovan Mitchell is, Ben Simmons has us going, if he could shoot already, he's an MVP. Donovan Mitchell's amazing, but he's like, he's a version of Dwayne Wade. But Wade was better, but, you know, we'll see what Donovan Mitchell's we'll see what Donovan, do. We don't know that because sure. Donovan, do you know D. Wade as a rookie? Donovan Mitchell is a rookie. Yeah, that's right. Look at it. It's, yeah. it's comparable. I, I'm just giving him props. Right. Donovan Mitchell's a beast. I'm just saying there's a difference between this guy is a transcendent sport crossing kind of transcendent yeah, but, 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 star but, and this guy's an, an all-star caliber and, and, player but, but, 